Hello students. In this video, we will be starting the coastal plains. Now, let us study about the coastal plains. In the previous video, we learnt about the peninsular plateau. Now, we will be learning about the coastal plains. A flat, low-lying land between the coast and a higher land in the interior is called the coastal plain. So, what do coastal plains mean? In India, we have right next to the ocean, the flat low-lying land right next to the ocean. As I am trying to mark here, this is part of the coastal plain. So, you can see here it is given in the green color. So, this is a flat land that is located in between two lands. Number one, we have the high-lying western guards here. Okay, number two, the ocean on this side. So, this land or the coastal plains, it is in between these two areas. Okay, India has a long coastal plain. Let us see where they are located in our country. So, we can see here in green color, I will just zoom in for you. So, the green color, we have the western coastal plains over here. These are the western coastal plains and we have the eastern coastal plains over here along the coastline of our country. Okay. How is the coastal plain extended? Observe the map. The western coastal plains lie between the western ghats in the east and the Arabian Sea in the west. So this area over here, it has the western ghats over here. Okay, so these are the western ghats and this is the Arabian Sea. Extends from the Gulf of Kutch in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. So I'll just zoom this in for so you can see this better. This area is called the Gulf of Kutch. Okay, so the western coastal plains they extend from Gulf of Kutch to Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari is a town that is present somewhere here, the tip of India, the southernmost tip of India. Okay, then the eastern coastal plains lie between the Eastern Ghats and Bay of Bengal. Okay, so the eastern coastal plains they lie between the Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. It extends from the Gangetic Delta in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. So the Gangetic Delta is that place where River Ganga drains into the Bay of Bengal. Okay, so it is present somewhere over here. A delta is a place where a river drains into the ocean. So whatever sediment the river has bought along its path from its origin, it gets deposited in the delta. This is an image showing you an example of what a delta looks like. The eastern coastal plains, they extend from the Gangetic Delta to Kanyakumari over here in the south. Next, both the coastal plains of India have major ports. Ports are those locations on the coast or the shore where ships can come to a stop and they can conduct any transfer. For example, if a ship is carrying cargo or goods, it can come, stop in the port and then carry out any transfer of cargo materials before it carries on on its journey. Okay. So, both the western and coast, eastern coastal plains of India have a number of important ports. Ports are very essential for the transfer of cargo shipments. So, we have Kandla, Mumbai, Nahavasheva, Marmagova, Nawab Mangaluru, Kochi, Chitikoran, Chennai, Ennore, Vishakapatanam, uh, Paradeep, Haldia, and Kolkata. So, these are the important ports that we can see in the eastern and western coastal plains. So, let us try to find them in our map of India. We will start from the Gujarat region. So, here we have Kandla. We can see Kandla over here. Next, we have Mumbai here. We have Goa here. We have Mangaluru, Kochi, Chitikoran. Okay. I will leave the other coast on the eastern coastal plain for you to find and just know where they are in the map of India. Okay. Let us move on to the next section. New Mangaluru. 
port ranks ninth in importance and it is known as the gateway of Karnataka. So New Mangaluru, it is called as the gateway of Karnataka. Next, the important features of coastal plains. Fishing is the main occupation of people living in the coastal plains. So, we have already learnt in the previous video that a major part of the population would depend on what it is available in that particular area. So, the landforms and the characteristics of the physical features have a major influence on the lifestyles of people. Because these people are living nearer to the coastal plains, fishing is the main occupation of the people living there. So, most of the people eat prawn and fish. Spinach, ivy guard, black-eyed peas, sambar cucumber are also eaten for food. Okay, paddy, areca nut, coconut, cashew nut, cardamom, banana and vegetables are grown here. The use of boiled rice is very popular. The houses here have steep sloping roofs due to heavy rainfalls. So once it rains very heavily, we have to get rid of those waters. That is why the houses here have very steep sloping roofs. I will just show you an image of a sloping roof on a house. So as you can see here, this house has a sloping roof. And because of this, when it rains heavily, the slope will get rid of the water. In that manner, there will be no collecting of water on the roof. Next, we have to answer the following questions. Firstly, which sea borders the coast of Karnataka? Let us take a look at our map here. So, Karnataka is present over here, right? And as you can see, the sea next to it is the Arabian Sea. So, the Arabian Sea borders the coast of Karnataka. The next question is, which districts of Karnataka have coastal plain? I will just show you an image of a map of Karnataka. So, this is the map of Karnataka and if you zoom it in, you can see here that we have the Uttar Kannada, the Udupi and Dakshina Kannada districts that have the coastline. Okay, so we have Uttar Kannada here and the coastline is over here. We have Udupi district over here and we have Dakshina Kannada over here. Below it, we have Kerala. So this is part of Kerala. So only three districts of Karnataka, that is Uttar Kannada, Udupi and Dakshina Kannada have the coastline. Next. Make a list of the major crops grown in the western coastal plain of India. So we have paddy, areca nut, ground nut, coconut, cashew nut, banana, cardamom and vegetables that are grown in the western coastal plain of India. Next, there is a demand for coastal food items of Karnataka. These are exported to other countries. What are they? So, coastal food items including prawns, crabs and shrimp are some of the food items that are exported to other countries. These are in great demand. I have given these three for you. If you can find more that are also exported, you can add on to this list. Let us move on to the next question. The gently sloping strip of land between the sea usually composed of sand and gravel, is called as a beach. You can watch the sea as far as you can. The striking sea waves bring great delight to your mind and eyes. The Ullar, Malpe, Kapu, Om and Maravante beaches of Karnataka are attractive and beautiful. What are the other famous beaches of India? No, and right here. So, I have just given three very famous beaches of India. These include Baga Beach in Goa, Varkala Beach of Kerala and Radhanagar Beach in Andaman. You can also add to this list by finding out about more beaches. I will just show you what a beach looks like. It is a very beautiful site. So, this is an example of what a beach looks like. As you can see, it looks very peaceful and calming for the mind. 
this is another example so you have learned that in a beach you can see as far as your eyes can see you can see the sea okay and this part this imaginary line where the sea appeared to meet the sky it is called the horizon okay in beaches you can see the horizon without any obstructions which is why beaches are excellent places to see the sunset and sunrise depending on which coast they are in you can either see the sunset or the sunrise very beautifully in the beaches next observe the dress style and food habits of the fishermen and women living in the coastal plains write four sentences about this in indian coastal regions the fishermen and fisherwomen usually wear light clothes to work in humid conditions so because these areas are present very close to the ocean the climatic conditions are by nature very humid this will make you feel very hot okay that is why the people who are living there prefer light clothes they are mostly dependent on seafood which comprises of fish crabs and prawns okay so these are some of the habits of the people that are living in the coastal plains again you can find out more and add on to this list next the sea coasts are highways for trade and commerce some ports provide shelter for ships on the outline map of india mark and name the major ports along the eastern and western coastal lines so let us go back to our map of india so as we can see here we have a number of ports that are present in the eastern and western coast so we have already learned about some of these ports let us try to find as many sea ports as possible i will just give you the example of those ports that are present on the western coastal plain you can try to find out those in the eastern coastal plain so here we have kandla we have mumbai goa mangaluru and malabar and the kochi port in the malabar coast so we have learned that the kandla in gujarat a uh, mumbai nahava sheva marva goa nava mangaluru kochi are the coasts that are present in the western coast okay similarly you can try to find the others that is tutikon uh, chennai ennore visakhapatnam paradeep haldia and kolkata which are on the eastern coast okay next for the next activity you have to collect and paste pictures of ship you can also write three sentences about it i will leave this activity to you finally you have to locate the following on the outline map of india this one also you can do with the help of the example map that they have shown here so this is the end of the coastal plains i will see you all in the next video